everyone, this is Miss Gabby. Welcome to Family Storytime here on Facebook. So, besides leaves, what else do we see a lot of in the fall? Pumpkins, of course! Because it's fall and because it's the month of October and it's going to be Halloween, today we're going to be reading Stumpkin by Lucy Ruth Cummins. Let's get started. It was a few days before Halloween. Outside a little shop in a big city, a shopkeeper placed some pumpkins on the shelves. Ooh, look at those pumpkins. A girl came and looked at the pumpkins. When she was done, she picked one up and carried it away. The other pumpkins worried after their friend. Up, oh, there goes the little girl taking a pumpkin. But later they spotted him across the street and way up high. Oh, what happened to the pumpkin? He's a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, how exciting. He looks really cute. He was a jack-o'-lantern. Beneath his lovely stem, he now had two triangle eyes, a nose, and a giant toothy smile. He had a new home, a perch all to himself high above the street. What more could anyone want, thought the pumpkins. They were thrilled for their friend and thrilled that they too might one day be a jack-o'-lantern. They were all happily lost in thought, imagining themselves as jack-o'-lanterns when one pumpkin realized something was very wrong. Ooh, what could be wrong? Poor little pumpkin, poor little stemless pumpkin. With just a stump, not a stem, poor little Stumpkin. Still, there was plenty to like about Stumpkin. He was a handsome pumpkin, as orange as a traffic cone. He was as big as a basketball and twice as round. Stem sham. Who knows? Some people might even prefer a stemless pumpkin. I wouldn't mind the stemless pumpkin. Look at Stumpkin. He's so cute. Aww. Days passed and more people came. Some pumpkins left. Oh, some pumpkins stayed. Wow, there were a lot of pumpkins and now there aren't very many. It wasn't yet Halloween. There were still plenty of windows that needed jack-o'-lanterns. Yep, out of all these windows, there's only one, two, three, four, four jack-o'-lanterns. Who would be lucky enough to take home Stumpkin? As orange as an orange, as big as a basketball, round, he was very nearly the perfect pumpkin. Very nearly truly. The next day, new people came. Ooh, I wonder if one of the persons who comes by the shop is gonna buy Stumpkin. And the shopkeeper's cat settled on Stumpkin's smooth top. Then it happened. A brilliant baby chose Stumpkin until a bad dog ruined it and the baby changed his mind. Oh, the cat was sitting on Stumpkin and then the dog who came along saw the cat and scared it, which scared the baby. Oh no, Stumpkin's not gonna go home with the baby. Oh well, thought Stumpkin. Oh, only Stumpkin and this pumpkin are left. It was the day of Halloween. There were still a few empty windows. Oh, look, wow, there are a lot of jack-o'-lanterns sitting on the windows. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine jack-o'-lanterns. Two were left on the shopkeeper's shelf. A boy came and when he left, oh, which one did he buy? Stumpkin remained. Oh wow, the boy bought this pumpkin. Well, good for him, but poor Stumpkin. The gourd, thought Stumpkin. I guess that's that. Oh, Stumpkin is all alone. It was Halloween night and the shop had closed. There were no more days left. Oh no. And wow, look at all those pumpkins. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pumpkins. Wow. The shopkeeper scooped up poor Stumpkin and carried him off. I wonder where he's taking Stumpkin. Look, even the cat looks worried. 
Oh, uh, why is it so dark? Oh, a triangle. Two triangles. Stumpkin wouldn't be getting a window and he wouldn't be getting a new home. Oh no, Stumpkin. He already had a home. What? What home? Oh, the shopkeeper turned Stumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern and kept him at the shop. And that made Stumpkin very happy. Oh, good for Stumpkin. Well, that's the end of our story. Make sure to look down at the comment section where we've published some questions and activities related to the book. Until next time, bye!